last time on The Incorrigible Party. Dreg's teleportation spell is on target, landing the party at Port Heracleon amidst the wreckage of the coordinated attack in time to intercept a group of Grell and a lone cultist on their way to the water. Dispatching the Grell and being aided by the cultist, they learn of his intent to defect and escape the island. He agrees to aid the party in exchange for passage on the Rising Three. While taking refuge in a burned-out building, they witness the arrival of what the cultist calls Wave Two. Ten strange-looking, smelly beasts and four shape-shifting doppelgangers. Oh, what was that you wanted? More adventure? You got it. So we can we can go try to get Danzig, or we could go try to notify the Tritons and let them know what we know, or we can send a message to Grimby and just get the hell out of here. Falzern, do you think the Tritons will be checking that spot after, you know, like the bad guys know where it is? I I doubt we can get in touch with them. Yeah, and the the other issue is that it's going to take about twenty four hours. Be- before they're going to come back to meet to talk to me after I drop the signal, so... What are the chances of the Tritons finding that cave themselves, since they are aware there is a Kraken present? I would... They should have pretty intimate knowledge of, of what Krakens are all about, and this storm, I, I think, is a bit of a, a clue that the, the Triton may be around here. I'm, I'm hoping they can put the pieces together and and start looking. I just... I wish I could use my sending to talk to the Tritons. I freaking... I'm not familiar with any of them. This is so frustrating. So, Thunder, could you take all of these bad, chaotic ideas and list them in an order from worst to best? (laughs) So there's the sea captain who... How long has it been since you spoke to him? (laughs) Who knows? It's been a while. (laughs) I believe Chum, we must just leave to be on his own. Chum's our only way out of here. We are not leaving the island till our task is complete. I would very much like to leave the island. So if you're not leaving the island until the task is complete, I'm up for helping you complete this task. And who knows? I might be helpful. I don't know that myself, but I could. Hey, I'm just happy to be... I'm happy to be here. I hate my life. Do you have any scrolls of sending? I don't. I got a bag of tricks. And uh, I've got uh, I'm motivated. I'm not I'm bad at interviews. I've got um, I'm on time. Always. What is your greatest weakness? I'm too <laughs> open and honest. I hate my life. What does your bag of tricks do? I don't know. I mean, all I do is I kind of reach into this tan bag of tricks, and then something comes out and it's always alive it's always just happy to be about it kind of does what i say sometimes it's a tiger sometimes it's a baboon last time it was a baboon i can do like three times a day it's great you're never alone with a bag of tricks that is very interesting (laughs) i guess you never go hungry either yeah i do eat them sometimes but that's uh understandable okay so drag i i realize you really needed that rest i hope you're feeling better but what are your ideas? Anything? I... I think we might have overestimated the... Uh, I overestimated the amount that I would be drained teleporting us all here. We've left now the safety of the city. I, and all of these ideas sound terrible. <laughs> I agree. But this is a terrible situation. Drag, I believe the best thing for you to do is find somewhere safe to rest up. Perhaps we can find a building still intact. I... They won't go back to that place where I found that barrel because there's nothing there. We went and wiped it out. There's no reason anyone would go there. I'm just putting ideas out. I'm an ideas guy. Hi. Don't kill me. I, uh, I think we go back to bad plan number one with a little bit of a a little bit more information. Let's go try to find the barrel. Well, Shaft, I'd like to remind you that bad plan number one, as, as bad as it was, 
involved us being invisible, which, yes, we don't. We're, we're not going to be able to all be invisible anymore. No, we don't all have to go. But we either got to stop what's going to happen in some way. And if we can't, then my vote is to get with Grimby and get away from here. You so if we got to do something, let's let's go. Want to let's go. split the party again? I do not believe we should split up. Then give me a suggestion on how we get the barrel. Thunder tells us which tent is Erica's. We do our best to sneak up to it and inside it and try and destroy Danzig. Here's here's my issue. It was already the odds were stacked against us. Now we have we've got four doppelgangers and 10 of these monstrous beasts that have been added into the fray. There's a very high likelihood that all of us are going to die if we do this. It's not like we can just swim off the island and... Like, I get what you're saying, Shaft, but we can't just leave. I'm pretty good at swimming. Uh, I'm with Mia. We cannot just leave. Then we need to do something. Yes. Falzerin can cast a ritual and allow Dreg to heal. Remember your tiny hut? You could at least put it on Dreg. I have to be in the hut, I think. As soon as I leave it, it it, uh, dissipates, right, Leland? That's right, yep. I wonder... How far is the shore from uh, where this army is amassed at, at the gates of... Is it quite a distance? Yeah, it's a, it's a mile or two. Uh, okay, we'll scratch that then. Should we go find a building that looks more secure to hide out in? Yeah, take them down to the basement of the Creepy Aura. Like Thunder said, it, nobody has any reason to go back there again. Yeah, well, why don't we start with that? Let's Perhaps we'll come up with some ideas on the, on the way over there. At least while the path is clear before another ship docks. So we uh, grab him and head over to the Creepy Aura. Let's move out. I don't know. What else are we going to do? I mean, it's a terrible idea, but I don't know. I don't have an alternative plan. Let's talk about it when we get to relative safety. So you get back onto this road. Uh, it's not far to the Creepy Aura as the dock is uh, quite a small uh, a semblance of buildings. You see, though, in the in the wake of those beasts, th- the road is covered in like this muck, and still that a uh, bit of that stench that was so strong in their presence is kind of still lingers in, now that you're into the area of their direct path. But you get to the creepy Oris front door; it remains intact, but like the walls around it are completely destroyed. It's basically like this, you know, just like a door frame and a swinging wooden door kind of left. Uh, in, inside the, the taverns, the chairs and tables are, are splinters and burnt debris. And uh, so you're moving into the bathroom to, to find Tenchi's hidey hole? Is that the... Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And you step into the bathroom, you see the, the doors with the elves and the other st- uh, set of toilets with the dwarf that they've just come torn completely off of their hinges. Now you don't know who's supposed to go to which one. It's a, it's a mess now. <laughs> But you step inside of, of the correct bathroom, and the back wall of it has just been blown inward. The, the stalls bashed over from the impact. Uh, the toilets are smashed. And an open hole in the stall where Tenchi's secret passage is. Uh, I assume you descend. Yeah. yeah. It is passable. It. Yeah. Uh, the steps and room below are, are littered in with stone and wooden debris. And as Thunder said, you see Danzig's barrel is nowhere in sight. Uh, you're kind of at the back of this small, like, 15 by 15 room, I think it was. You see uh, Tenchi's table that had all his goods on it. It's been overturned, spewed its contents across the room. There's tattoo needles and ingredients smashed underfoot, uh, trampled kind of in this pile at the back of the room. And Dreg kind of hobbles in and just takes a, a seat again on the floor tucked into kind of the same corner uh, next to, to the entrance right so if you walked in he would then be tucked into the corner to to your right where actually Tenchi had set uh, Danzig's barrel and he sits down and he kind of, he wishes you luck on whatever you're about to do as he just kind of rests his head back and you see his eyes close and it seems he kind of almost immediately like just passes out <laughs> Uh, I sit down, I pull out my uh, cutlass and my sharpening stone and I start sharpening. 
and I look at everybody and go, Oh, you remember that lich thing too? Forgot about that. Shink. Shink. <laughs> I didn't forget about it, but my thought is Alamar's probably off the island. I mean, Dreg yeah. said he saw him at the port, right? Falls are in. Would it be such a bad idea to get in touch with Isabella? Ask her what to do? She is against Erica. I... I don't know, Mia. I could try. Uh, I worry that... I don't know if this thing can give her my precise location, but if she turns out to be another foe... Well, I think we know she is, but she might want to protect you. Uh, I'm not so sure about that, but I think there's one thing we can be sure of, and that is that she's not on Erica's side. No one really tells me anything, but I know that much. Well, Isabella is is currently... It sounds like she's sort of given up on, on me completing the task that she's that she's given me and, and has enlisted someone else, so I don't think that I hold a lot of weight in, in her eyes anymore. Isabella did say to me that Erica was stronger than she. Hmm. I do not believe we can count on Isabella's aid. Yeah, that kind of confirms my suspicions, uh, Shakara. I, I wondered about the power dynamic there and why Isabella would have enlisted me to deal with Erica if she could have just done it herself. It's going to take a long time, but I could try to write out a scroll of sending for you to use, Falzerin. How long do you estimate that would take? Eight hours and 250 gold in supplies. That certainly would be helpful. I I don't think we have the time to do it right now, unfortunately. We do not have that kind of time right now. I know. I wish I would have met the Tritons. This is so stupid. Thunder, uh, what are you doing as they're kind of having this conversation? You're kind of back into this room that's, you know, obviously familiar to you. You kind of played a hand in trashing the place. Look, they tell us to just kind of raise hell so you know and i'll be honest it is fun trashing a town and you can't hold that again who here who here has not yeah i'm happy to i'm not happy to go along with that thank you randy Jeez, and i just feel yeah. like you guys have a lot of plans that's great plans are good right i think you're gonna die but that's maybe that i've been programmed to think that a little bit <laughs> all i can say is that i can help you in the in the whole, I know where that where Erica is, but and I would do almost anything to get off this godforsaken island if that's possible. So, and I might help you be able to get there and stuff. I'm pretty good at sneaking. Sneaking's my main thing. As far as you are aware, is Danzig still in the barrel? The barrel was full when I was bench pressing it. Shakara rolls her eyes at him. Thunder, would you be willing to kill Danzig for us? I mean, I've got other talents. People, all people want me to do is kill other people. And I just feel like... You said you would do anything to get off this island. We can get you off the island. Yeah, I'll well kill. I mean, I at this point, I just need to go back to the forest. I need to just... I had one thing to do. I didn't do it. So I'm going to go back home. So that's what I would like to do. Your new one thing to do to get you to go back home could be to sneak for us into the camp. They think you're with them and kill Danzig. That is true. They do. As far as they know, I'm, I just didn't turn up. And like they know who you are. So I could have just run into you. Yeah, we were. We ambushed you. We killed all your little brain floaty tentacles. And you were licking your wounds when the boat came through. Well, as long as you can make out that I did some pretty sweet damage. I mean, I'm cool with this. I mean, you can tell them that. It would tell them Smoke whatever you Smoke curls want. out of Shakara's mouth a little bit. Shakara, I know this isn't a good plan, but there are no good plans right now. No, because he's implying he did damage to me. Oh. <laughs> what, what's the range to the sending spell? There is no range. You just have to be familiar with the person. That's the problem. I think it's the same plane of existence, I think. So we've got the sending spell... Our options are basically anyone who's not within the dome. I assume it's not going to go through the dome. Probably not. So, basically, Grimpy. I can go back to the Triton drop spot, but 
they're not going to be there more than likely, and that's a 24-hour thing. Wheeland. Hmm. I hate, I hate to do this, but I kind of want to. Can I kick everyone off mic? <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, I, I got an idea. Um, because before, like, nothing has to happen, but, like, is there any chance that, I know I'm in the little room, but is there any chance I could, like, pray for my guardian? What's her face? Uh, Herafina. Herafina to, like, intervene a little bit. Give me a sign of some sort. You can absolutely try to call out for her, yeah, for sure. And, like, I can do it in a silent way, right? So that others aren't aware, or how does that work? I haven't really done it. In- no, not really. Um, you haven't really seen her since she first came to you over a year ago and showed you your wings, basically. Yeah, I'm just feeling so desperate right now. Like, Mia's just like... Oh, she hates bad plans, and she feels extremely weak and threatened right now, drained of her resources. You can absolutely try to kind of send out this silent mental prayer and contact Herafina for sure. Or would I know if there's, like, a better way to do it from, like, practicing religion all these years? Yeah, exactly. I think I think you, you, you would know that that's probably the, the best uh, MO, you know, that your, your ilk perform to, to try to do something like this. And, and again, she's really only come to you in, in a time of desperate need, and yeah. I think it makes sense that Mia would think that this falls under that type of circumstance. A hundred percent. I've never felt like this since I was by myself in those mountains, you know? Like, just Absolutely. totally. So, I'll put my hand on my amulet and just sort of think about Herafina and when she came to me and when I kind of learned my history and got my powers and could fly and like some sort of divine intervention happened and uh and yeah do you basically what you just kind of think like i need some guidance here yeah i'm thinking more like i need some guidance and um i'm thinking to myself like show me the way like what is best right now like what is there something i can do is there something they can do because all the plans seem equally terrible to me. <laughs> so, like, if if something is a little... Even just the tiniest sign from her could help me feel more reassured in what's happening. Absolutely. Uh, as an Asimar... I mean, Asimar are, are born. They are descendants of celestial beings. They are born with this access to this type of envoy. So, you are pretty confident that you will get some type of reply. You kind of—it's again much like that first wave that washed over you. It's—it's it's more of a, a of kind of this innate feeling that you have. Mm-hmm. And as you do, you kind of send out this mental prayer. The the chattering around you slow kind of slows down and grinds to a halt. And again, much like you were kind of frozen, suspended in the air when you were falling, this light appears this ball of this orb of radiance kind of appears down the stairs of this little basement uh, in front of you and everyone else can see that no so again it's as if they've st- almost as if like time has stopped okay and it, it seems like you you still have free reign to move and speak but everything around you has almost fr- is almost frozen and this this ball this this light appears before you and as time's just like frozen i look over to it and i say what am what am i supposed to do i'm feeling so lost right now herafina i know you've helped me before as you as you speak out to herafina again like you've never seen herafina take any type of uh, like humanoid manifestation like you've only ever seen her appear like this 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 radiance and still doesn't take any any form immediately as and as you 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 kind of speak out and, and your tone takes on like this 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 almost desperation right like you were just clinging to anything that you can possibly utilize to help you in this situation it's it's less of a voice but it's kind of more of of this almost like this melodic tone that you just kind of understand uh 
very, very beautiful and very soft. And you, you kind of suddenly get flashes in your, in your mind. Flashes of, of, the, of the setting, of the army's encampment in front of the city. And those swirling red and black pools that you witness from the top of the Knowledge Center. And you, you, you see almost like erupting from them are these, these winding and, and vibrantly green massive lengths of vine that spring forth as you know the, the, these pools are surrounded by these cultists and these vines crawl up and out and just continue inching themselves like snaking along the stone towards the city and the dome that still protects it in this vision that you are being blessed with here and, and, and the vines they just keep growing and growing at this rapid rate and they expand and creep over the dome and they start to cover it entirely and contract and constrict on this dome, seemingly to, to, to put pressure. And this vision lasts for what feels like an eternity as these vines, you just see them stretching and, and, and grappling this dome. And suddenly there's this shattering sound, this, this earth-shaking shattering as the dome breaks beneath the vine's weights and and strength and the vines just collapse on into the city as they wither their job finished and the rushing army charges the city and then suddenly you're back in the basement of the creepy aura this light is gone and you're thrown back into the, the chatter around you, uh, the, the, the disorganization of, of what to do next. Yeah, hey, everyone. Um, sucks that Danzig isn't here. Um, this this is bad. This is really, really bad. I, I had a vision. Which is nothing new. I know. Oh, wait, what? You had a vision. Yeah, I, I cried out to Herafina. She's my, like guardian angel and I basically time kind of freezes so while you guys were just chatting I had a vision and remember those swirling red and black pools that we saw when we were at the top of the knowledge center in the camp yes yes Yes. scattered amongst uh like this they were cultists yeah they were like circling them and chanting and Yes. Thunder, do you know much about these pools? Yeah, the summoning pools. Yeah, the summoning pools. Summoning pools. what? And you did not think to say this to us earlier. Oh, there's some summoning pools. Thanks. They're dotted around. Look, I'm just... I don't know what you know and what you don't know. What are They're you summoning? summoning? What are we summoning? Well, they don't tell me much, but... Uh... Infinity Vines? There are vines. My my vision showed me erupting green vines coming from these pools and crawling towards the dome of the city. And they're crawling super fast and they creep over the whole dome and they they put pressure down until until the dome breaks, you guys. These vines yeah. crush it. Infinity vines. They're going to try and knock the, the dome down. Oh, with you've them. got to be kidding me. How long till this happens? I don't know, but... Do you know how to stop them, Thunder? I think if I'm no, I, I don't know this cult very well, but everything they seem to do involves just killing a bunch of people. So I think they just need to throw enough people into the pools and then, shoop, infinity vines. Yeah. So these infinity vines are going to go take the dome down. And then the army, it rushes into the city. I saw it then in my vision. Then they take over the city. Then, uh, hey, Thunder, what, what's the plan after that? I don't know. Ask Mia. She's literally telling you the whole plan blow by blow at this point. Yeah, that's, Infinity Vines. That's all I Dome, saw. Down. Wave two. Goes in. Slaughters everyone. Is your vision a guarantee or a possibility? I believe it's a possibility. I don't think it has to happen. I think Herafina showed it to me to show me what would happen if we don't intervene. Or into Vine. Infinity <laughs> Vines. <laughs> I, I, I look at Thunder and give, point the finger at him and go, good one. Little molar smoke yeah. curls out of my mouth. 
Thunder, how do we find out how to destroy these pools? Does Thunder know how to destroy the pools? Yeah. Thunder knows that they've been, like you, like he said, they've been sacrificing into the pool. They've been filling it with the black slime that they have barrels and barrels of in the encampment. And that they are kind of very similar to, to how the anchors work. There are people constantly chanting over them and, and performing the, these rituals. Well, look, guys, as much as I think this is a terrible plan, something's got to be done to, to interrupt what they're trying to do here. We, I can't just sit idly by and let this happen. I'm pretty sure if you stop the chanting, then the whole summoning stops, but you have to stop the chanting for long enough to them to not start the chanting again. I know the chant, I can sing it for you if you'd like, but I don't... No, uh, n- no, no? that's not necessary. So we need to find Danzig, destroy him and his barrel, stop all the cultists around all four infinity pools, somehow find Alamar, stop him from becoming a lich, find the Tritons, or get them a message so they can kill the Kraken, and stop Kralakina from being reborn. That is everything, yes? I also would like to go home, please. Yeah, leave. That's the other thing. There's a lot going on. Dreg, is there is there any way that we can somehow contact the the people within the city to perhaps we can make a concerted um, like a you know, what's the friggin' word when Dreg is when two sleeping. people do something at the same time two groups coordinated synchronicity coitus coordinated oh wow well. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an orgy when it's two groups. <laughs> <laughs> Two groups. What the heck is that friggin' word? Coordinated. Coordinated. I said coordinated, you idiot. Were you not listening to me? You've tuned your own wife's voice out. You can't even hear her saying coordinated. But Being part of this group, I understand why it didn't come to you quickly. Um, it's so long. <laughs> Coitus or coordinated? Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> either for Falzerin. <laughs> also, as Emily said, Dreg is asleep. Yeah. Do you wake him up? Uh, no. And I will remind I will remind the party that the initial and initial conversation that you had with uh, the Knowledge Center's librarian and uh, Tenchi and half and stuff was to try to arrange some type of yes. coordinated like attack, right? Yes. Yeah. A coitus attack. You a coitus attack. You didn't move forward with that plan, Re- really? Was that there was no was? sign established. Because you were going to get invisibilized so you could try to sneak in. Yeah. I think oh, that yeah. plan got abandoned. Yeah, you didn't really set up a signal to throw up for the Heraklionians to drop the shell the and charge. The signal is always Eldritch Blast. Take the offense. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Into the sky. <laughs> so we have no way of signaling them. Literally, I'm familiar with some people in there I could send, but the dome is up. Yeah, I don't think sending will work through the dome. We don't know that, but I mean, I'm going to assume no. Yeah, you know for sure that teleportation doesn't. This is bad. We're all going to die. John, what do you want to do? I feel like you make quick decisions and act on them. I say we go up, we try to get Danzig, and we check out what the, the summoning pools are and decide at that point what our best course of action is, because there's a lot of unknowns at this point. Yeah, I, I feel a lot less bad about this plan if we were able to infiltrate the camp and have the dome come down and they start attacking from the other side while we're in there and create a distraction but without that... We know that, we can get thunder into the camp. We can do sneaky sneaky. I'm pretty good at sneaking, just in case anyone was wondering. You guys stay with me and we can be pretty damn sneaky to get up to where we can see something to make a decision. Right now we don't know what we have to deal with until we get there. Okay, so scratch me saying anything to Drake. Yeah, of course. I'll also remind you that I do believe Falzern did grab two robes from dead cultists. Yes, I did. You know, that was a that was a brief idea, but you do have something. Okay, so I would like to search the room, Leland. So Mia, as you kind of looking through the debris 
Uh, mm-hmm. of, I mean, you've never really been down here. This is kind of your first time being down here. I never have. I really am jealous of all the tattoos. Yeah, and, and you see all the, the, the kind of smash ingredients and, and the tattoo needles and stuff. And you find uh, what looks like a, a handheld mirror that is smash its surface is kind of fractured and there's a, a kind of a single large shard uh missing from it you know kind of think like an eighth of a pizza wedge kind of thing right that about that size missing from from okay. this mirror uh you also kind of find this small uh, leather pouch again about the size of, of a coin purse um, looking inside there is a, a, a strange looking bean inside of it and um well there's two beans one one of which is still uh, looks like it's fine, but the other is completely smushed. The The final thing you find is actually you've, you kind of pull out this, this roll of parchment. It is, it is a little singed uh, and, you know, kind of folded in areas under from the this debris kind of crum- crumpling on it. But it is a scroll of fly. Ooh. And what I does that I thought you were going to say sending that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's amazing. not that nice. Benevolent DM. Scroll of sending, but most of it is burned away, so... <laughs> so it can't be used. It's a scroll of ending. Just... It will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking you taking all of them? Yeah, I'm taking all of it. Is fly on your spell list? Nope. It's on the wizard's spell list. Wink, wink. <laughs> Do you know it? I don't have to. Because if you don't know it, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it does. Uh, if he doesn't know it, it's on his list. He could put it into his spell book, yeah. You can spend time and money to put it into his spellbook. Okay, so Thunder uh, kind of explains, like, you know, he, he explains the terrain really around the encampment, in which you are all familiar. Like you've seen it, you've seen this the the kind of the the small mountains on either side of the road, and he kind of explains like you would be able to, you know, and not stick to the road, but maybe traverse through those mountains and find kind of this Overwatch spot, and maybe he can point out which of these uh, large the larger tents that you all saw through the spy glasses from the top of the knowledge center kind of point out which one is Erica's and maybe take the plan from there decide what you want to do kind of survey any changes that may have happened in, in the couple of hours since you last spied on them absolutely okay the so you're leaving Dreg uh, here asleep mm-hmm. are you doing anything else to the to the to the room are you uh, I want to sort of uh, not cover Drag up, but make it hard for anybody to, that would be just taking a quick glance around the room to see him. Okay. Uh, if someone were to look from the top of the stairs, they would not be able to see him from his position, but if they came into the room and searched the very small room, there really is no way that you could hide him from somebody walking in and seeing him. Could we potentially wake him up and tell him the plan without ruining his rest? He's kind of like dozing, like you know, kind of uh, soft snoring from from his uh, from his uh, nose, kind of his battered nose. Yeah, I think that's not a bad idea if, if we can just wake him to let him know what the plan is and ask him if he could let us have the ring for now, just in case we need it. All right, you go for a shaft. That's that's a. We'll, that leaves we'll him trapped and, outside the city. Yeah, shake his shake his arm a little bit and go, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna go try to get this all situation squared away. Uh, we may need the ring. You're in no shape to go with us. Uh, if you let me carry it for now, I'll bring it back to you." I, I agree with Shaft. I think I hate to do this, Drake, but you're in really rough shape and. It's possible that, I mean, we're going back towards the city, and you've sort of taught me how to use it. Would you be willing to part with it? He regards you from his seated position, kind of rubbing sleep from his eyes a little bit. Don't mind me. (laughs) And yeah, he kind of looks over, shifts a glance over to Thunder, and... You see him just kind of give a, a, a brief nod as he starts to pull his ring off and holds it out to Falzerin. Please safeguard this with your life. I do trust that the majority of you have the city's best interests at heart. But y- you will only be able to get back in through the dome and use it 
in the tunnels. There is only the one spot that the ring will work on. Understood. Yes, Drag, I, I promise you, you have my word, I will do everything within my power to protect this. Dreg, when you are arrested, contact us. Send Falzerin or one of us a sending spell. You know, message us. It's so you tell him where you're kind of where you're going and yeah. where possibly he could find yeah. you. Okay. The plan is to head into camp, and Thunder here is volunteered to help us sneak and and find what we need. He's still wary of Thunder, of course. Is not. I mean, uh, just a little over an hour ago, he witnessed Shakara execute a Kraken priest. And so he's <laughs> he's a little uh, confused, maybe, at some, some of the, how the circumstances have played themselves out a little bit. But yes, he, he does agree uh, to when he is strong enough uh, to, to, to try and find you and contact you and make sure that he can get you out of any danger should it present itself. Thunder. Do you know if there are any more arrivals expected? I heard of wave one. I heard of wave two. I've not heard of wave three. So I think we might be all right. But, again, I'm just a lowly cultist. Ex-cultist. Ex-cultist. So no, I don't think there's a wave three. I kind of think they were just going to... I'm pretty sure they're pretty confident. Say what you want about cultists, but they are not lacking in confidence. They're they're devoted for sure. <laughs> it's they are zero <laughs> cool. I'll tell you. Drag, if vines uh, enclose the city, enclose the shell. Infinity vines. Do you believe the shell will fall with enough pressure? As Mia mentions, the name Infinity Vine. You see his eyes kind of widen. If that is... Infinity Vines. Are you sure? Infinity Vines. I'm sure. I saw it in a vision. Thunder confirmed it. They're definitely Infinity Vines. That's like what we do with those pools. Do you know how to destroy Infinity Vines, Dreg? I, 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 I do not. I mean, they are just a simple vegetation, but they grow in wild space. They grow in wild space? It's their native habitat. They they can... Around a planetary body, the crystal spheres do not inhibit the infinity vines. I, they cannot be summoned. You, you must stop them. Yes, I agree. I don't like our odds, but we can't sit idly by and let this happen. We will stop them. Sea Shaft Dreg is smart. We, we can't let these vines come to be. Yeah, but Greg's always been a pretty, pretty sharp guy. We must go, then. We must go now. I, I feel like I, I, I cannot rest with this new news. Uh, how could I live with myself if something were to happen and I was here sleeping? What do you want what to do? What can you do in this state? I insist that I, I come with you. I, I still have some strength left. I must do all that I can. Can you keep up with us? I will try. If I fall behind, I will catch up. Go go without me. But I must try to make it as far as I can. That's very noble of you, Dreg. I I just want you to know that we we will think nothing ill or we won't think poorly of you if if you do need to stay behind, but the decision is yours. I will accompany you, but I will still entrust you, Falzern, with my ring. Okay. I will guard it with my life. I know I'm a poor judge of character, but Drake, you are a badass. <laughs> <laughs> you see his kind of ga- his gaze kind of softens a little bit at your compliment. Well, uh, being an intellectual, that's not quite something I often hear. All right, Drake. Crew. So I st- let's go. Stand up. I put my cutlass back in, and my sharpening stone away, and I stand or stand up, and I put my sh- my hand on uh, Thunder's shoulder and go. Well, I hope we both live enough to take that boat ride. Yep, I just want to go home. <laughs> yep. Well, good luck to both of us. <laughs> and then uh, I'll walk out uh, up the steps. As you leave the creepy aura, uh, directly across from it on the street is the guardhouse, which Shakara and Mia are familiar with. And you actually see, like, really, this is 
a section of it at least is really the only part that isn't like in in rubble in ruins uh you do kind of see the back half of it still standing it does it looks like it was untouched um mostly by cannon fire or anything like that possibly uh the 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 rear section you know like the part that is destroyed was the part that you walked into right when you handed over terry to the guards and it was kind of the 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 main workstation of the guards so you can probably surmise that in the back would be maybe where they have some of the cells and stuff where they would have taken terry so if you continue north i assume yes Yes. Yeah. Do we want to get Terry? Terry's long gone. He's not there. Terry's an asshole. Okay. And he's an asshole. So, yeah, no, screw him. If you want to get to the camp, though, it's this way, I think. And I point in the right direction. <laughs> let's uh, let's take our time, and if we see anything, let me know before we proceed. We can uh, I can cast Pass Without a Trace, and we can... Uh, be a little more sneaky, but I don't want to. I don't want to do anything until we get close enough to to see. Yeah, we might need that with Shakara and I. Lead on, Thunder. So I lead on, and that's all the yeah. I lead on, forward ho! I'm a lonely <laughs> cultist just going for a walk. <laughs> he doth protest too much, <laughs> and Shaft has always wanted to say, "Lead on, Thunder." <laughs> <laughs> Now, Thunder, I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a piece of advice. When we get closer, I know your name's Thunder, but we're gonna want to keep it to a very low, very quiet whisper. Can you do that, Thunder? Uh, yeah, I just have been murmuring and whispering for like two weeks since I've been in this cult, and it's just really nice to be able to kind of like let loose a little bit. But I, yeah. I don't. I also don't want to get killed. So yeah, I can I can keep it down. Well, get it out of your system, and then we'll take off. I'm being <laughs> sorry. Just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. And fuck. <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> Do a German yell real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder leads you uh, northward up this main road, and again, kind of following the the same trail that the, the herd of these beasts had left. It's still leaving that kind of uh, sewagey, almost muck and, and stench behind. And for another few hundred feet, you continue until you get to where the, the mountainous terrain starts to form around this, like on either side of this this path. And you can move into it off of the main road. And of course, still, again, we have this sloping whole aisle of Heraklion. You see the dome still attacked, intact over the city. You know, this, these storm clouds still raging above, no sign of letting up. Uh, rain is rain is pouring, lightning cracking, in Mia's element right now. Oh yeah! And you can kind of make your way into the the mountains, which do not slow you down because of Shaft's expertise within that terrain. So you move through this mountainous terrain, keeping off of off of the the main road, and you're traveling for maybe uh, close to maybe an hour. As yes, the terrain itself doesn't slow you down, but. Again, just the navigating the changes in elevation going up and down. And really, like these, these mountains aren't like the Vorgrag Mountains, of, of course, or even like uh, Thuf's Mountain, really. They're, they're the tallest peak, maybe 150 feet at most, and no real need to navigate to the very top of, of those larger, uh, larger mountains. Um, but you can find on the... I just pictured you kind of moving on to, as Thunder has led you to, to the western side of this road. And Thunder takes you up to one of these kind of mid-ranged peaks. Directly north of you is this invader's encampment. And yes, you now again you see the, the tents that they've erected overnight for, for the human cultists that do actually need sleep. The, 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 the numbers of, of drowned walking around and you know there's not many but there's still a few additional grell floating around and thunder is able to point out of these three larger clearly different and specialized tents the the one in the middle kind of basically right uh, northeastern of the the opening of the path through these two parallel mountains he points out that one is erica's hut it's that one, just, if you just look just over, it's that one. That's Erica's tent. 
There's so many barrels of goo. Does it look like it's guarded by anything or anyone? There are just cultists and drowned and scion- and a few deep scions just milling kind of all over the place. Directly, ba- almost directly below you, those those tents that had the makeshift fencing around them that you you witness people moving like supply crates in and out of. Uh, there's there's many people down there. That's, there appear to be working. And actually, you see the herd of those beasts and the doppelgangers outside of Erica's tent, and you can see her speaking with the doppelgangers. And she kind of is walking over, very almost nonchalant, but she's she's clearly conversing with the doppelgangers, and she's just kind of almost absent-mindedly petting one of these beasts with her with her one remaining right arm. Do you know the plan for the doppelgangers? I don't. Look, I just. Again, just one last... If you say you are just a low-level cultist again, I will smack you. Cool. She'll stab you, I've seen it. You remind me of someone, and it's just... I don't know, it's fine. Uh, The barrels that we see down there, those those are the barrels with the the black goo, we assume. Does that seem like that's where they're all stored? Or do we see them moving around? It just seemed like this is kind of the main location of them all, and... And again, you, you do see, uh, you witness through the spy glasses from the Knowledge Center, right, like some of the empties around the summoning pools, but other than those two locations, you don't see any barrels stacked up anywhere else. And Thunder is able to tell you and confirm with you that these fenced-in tents are where this, this invading army keeps their supplies and rations for the, the humans, right, the, the living creatures that actually do need to eat. It seems to me like if we take the barrels out, they can't put it in and summoning in can't put anything in the summoning pools to help summon. Maybe we get rid of the resources instead of trying to take on this mass of people. I believe it may be too late for that, as the pools appear to be already filled. Does it look like anybody is still taking the barrels and and adding more into it? There doesn't seem to be any transport of barrels anymore. There are still uh, on each of these three pools at kind of the, the four diagonal corners of them, right? Uh, a cultist on each performing some type of chant. Uh, from this dis- distance, obviously, it's, it's really hard for you to make out any of uh, specific movements or anything, but it's very clear what they're doing. Who here wants to sneak into Erica's tent and take care of Danzig? Obviously, going. Thunder's going to lead the way. Shaft, you're pretty sneaky. Yeah, I'm. I'm going in. I believe that is one of the things we definitely need to do. We could create a diversion while we send someone into Erica's tent. Maybe she'll leave the tent. What kind of diversion? I can only make one more baboon. I don't know if that's going to divert the whole army, but we could try. I mean, we could try. That's not what you... Sorry, that's not what you mean. I wasn't planning on you to make the diversion as you'll be sneaking. Well, just send a baboon in. Who's not going to look at a baboon? What did you have in mind, Mia? The boon's looking pretty good now. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a second. You can't discount the baboon plan. Just, Just yet. Just give me a second. I would really like to call Erica out of her tent somehow. I could call lightning. I mean, it is storming out. I could... My cloud might blend in and I could just start zapping stuff like the barrels. Um, I could create an ice storm over to the side here. I could cast Shatter, I could cast Fog Cloud, I mean, the possibilities are a little bit endless. Shakara, you could help me. There is not much I could do from far away that would not draw attention to ourselves. It's not a bad idea to maybe cast some lightning down on those barrels, blow the hell out of the damn things, and I'll go in from the far side. I'm sure Eric will come out when that happens. And I'll try to sneak in and, and get pull Danzig out of the barrel and make sure he's dead. Yeah, the question becomes how to be sure we kill Danzig. Shaft, you are okay to do that? If, uh... He is not Danzig any longer. I, I don't think we have much choice at this point. We do not. I agree. I, I know this is difficult for you, Shaft, but I, I think we've come to a point of impasse. We, we, need, to, we need to end whatever he has become. How do we get to the other mountain range that's closer to Erica's tent? Backtrack a bit and try again from the other side? 
yeah, I think uh, I think we can go across the road down a little ways and try to scrape. Maybe it's probably getting closer to. It's, it looks like it's getting a little darker out. Maybe that'll that'll help hide us a little bit too. I found a few things in Tenchi's basement that I'm not really sure what they are or how they work. You guys were down there before, and I'll show them the mirror, the pouch with the beans, and the oh, parchment. The mirror. You can uh, you can transform. I think is that what Tenchi said? Yes, I believe it needs to be aimed at the subject for for ten minutes, and it captures the subject's image, and you can use it to to transform yourself into their likeness. There's there's a piece missing. I, will it still work with the missing piece? I guess I don't know. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I mean, we could try it. Just yeah. stare into it for ten minutes, and let's see. Uh, or see if you can turn into Falzer in here. See if it works. Sure, yeah. Let's try it out first, and I will uh, hold Do it up to Falzerin's face. Do really want to spend ten minutes doing this? I yeah, do. we're wait, waiting for it to get a little darker, I think. Fine, hurry up. What if we could kill Chucky or Sardo, you know, and Ooh. pretend to be them? Mayhaps you try to capture Thunder's likeness. He wouldn't like you calling him Chucky. He hates them. Oh, I know that's not important. Charles. I mean, I don't care. Oh, maybe that's why we didn't get along very well back in weeks ago. Stand All I'm still. saying is this has infinite uses. Let's spend ten minutes to find out if it works. Capture Thunder's likeness. Thunder's gonna come with us, though. Two Thunders? <laughs> if we split up... Got two Thunders right here, baby! <laughs> <laughs> little bit of Thunder, little bit of Lightning. Hey, thunderbolt and Lightning. That's frightening from what I hear. Well, <laughs> well, I could, you know, help Randy. We and Randy could go down and talk and do what we need to do and then if you need to go who is randy that you this small guy i'm what do you mean you don't remember my name you never told me your name in the entire time we've been here it's never come up you said your name was randy so i think your name yeah. is randy thunder his name is shaft why didn't someone tell now i'm sorry Look, my that you know how embarrassing that is my friends call me shaft we're just acquaintances call me randy <laughs> <laughs> when you call me shaft we'll know we've met the guidelines okay. to be a real friend. Okay, so Leland, they talk about his name for ten minutes. What what happens with this mirror? Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the name thing off my I wanna I wanna try to uh turn into false ring. Oh scary sense. You could disguise yourself as a baboon. I'm just saying these are options we've got. <laughs> <laughs> so Mia, you capture Falzerin's likeness in this shattered mirror. And you are able to use your action to change the mirror's wielder into an image that has been captured as per the, as per the polymorph spell rulings. Lasts for one hour. You spent the ten minutes to capture. Uh, and uh, Shaft and Falls would know that this thing has five charges. It is limited use. Does not recharge. Would we... I think we would still choose to try it. To see yeah, it we works. need to know that it works if we're going to incorporate it into our plan at all. I fail to see how having two Falzerins help us since Erica knows what he looks like. Well, if Erica is trying to kill Falzerin, she's only got a 50 50 chance. I don't like where this is going. It, it works, guys. Like, what do we want? Another thunder? Is that what you're saying? I was just saying it might be wise to not be somebody that is being hunted. I agree, Shakara. Erica does know you, right, Falzerin? Yes. The only thing I've been hunted by is my past. What? That's fine. Um, I don't really want to turn into this sad man, but I can try. I've got reasons. If we capture your image, at least one of you might make it to the boat. Why not we turn Falzerin into thunder? We could do that. And yes. have Falzerin wear a cultist robe. Here. Thunder, do hold it. this mirror, look at it for ten minutes. I'm not used to looking at a mirror. Holy hell, look at that guy. <laughs> Are you happy with the choices you've made in life? I just think I should have done better. I'm not bad looking. Oh, no. Why did she leave me? Oh, ignore me my whole life. Oh, God. Yeah, tell us about your backstory for the next ten minutes. Well, because I've got one, I might as well blurt it out. I'm just going to look into this mirror. Do you know what? I think Bryn would have fancied me if she'd ever given me the chance. But she left. <laughs> 
She just never gave She didn't even know I existed. And then she goes missing. Then I go after her. Then I join a cult. It's very sad. When I find Bryn, you know what? Sorry, I've got a friend called Bryn. I'm from the... I'm a wood elf, right? I'm a relatively yeah. good-looking wood elf. It's fine. My ears aren't yeah. quite as... Matter of opinion. My ears aren't as pointy as I want them to be. Yeah. Other features of wood elves. I do look quite noble. My hair isn't very blonde at all. I hear Bryn wasn't the most friendly elf. You know Bryn? I've heard of her. She was traveling with Shaft and Falzrin. Yeah, we've... We cross paths. Do you know where she is? I've been looking for her for like... Two weeks? Three weeks? I'm just... That's the whole reason I joined the cult. Was because they said... It's a very long story. We, we can probably go over it. You know, if we survive this, we'll... We'll get into it. How, how heartbroken would uh, you be if I told you she's already with somebody? Well, she didn't really like me in this face yet. And she was kind of a bit of a loner, but she was so cool. Oh. Are, are dead. Would that break your heart? I will. Is she dead? She, she no, might... I'm just asking you. Would you would you be broken hearted if she was? Oh God, kill myself. Oh, okay. Well then, <laughs> I definitely won't tell you that. Or at least go back to the forest and you know tell everyone. I guess I don't know. But she's not. Yeah, she, I feel like I know. She's too cool to die. Has it been ten minutes? <laughs> And that's our... Ah, uh, whatever. Hey, Incorrigibles. Incorrigibleites. Definitely not Lelanders. Thanks for listening. We all super appreciate you following along with our adventure. If you could take a few seconds to rate us on iTunes or wherever you listen to us, that would be great. We'd love your feedback, and it really helps our show grow. And if you like us, recommend us to a friend. If you hate us, recommend us to a friend. Or share us on social media. Leland's got so much more up his sleeves, and it's a totally original homebrew. We would love to have more friends following along. We'd love to interact with you guys on Twitter at IncorrigibleParr. On Instagram and Facebook, we're at IncorrigibleParty. All our socials can be found on IncorrigibleParty.com. And on our site, you can get merchandise, character info, world lore, etc. This podcast was sponsored by Critical Hit Design at CriticalHitDesign.com. Thanks to Tabletop Audio for allowing us to use any ambient sounds or music during our show. Intro and outro by Josh Jarvis. Contact him at jamesmercymusic at gmail.com for inquiries. Catch you next time!